Hi Sagittarius, welcome to your Week Ahead Taroscope with me, Raphael from Radiant Reality. It's an absolute pleasure to have you. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for joining me. If you haven't already, please don't forget to like, share, and if you should so choose and it resonates, hit that subscribe button. If you are already a continued subber, you know I love you for it. With that said, if you would like to book a personal reading with me, you can do so on the website address below. And before we start, as always, <clears throat> I would like to bless my deck of cards with all forms of love, light, peace, prosperity and abundance and I pray that the messages that come through are ultimately clear and concise and they help you on your path to your highest vibrational good. So uh, this week for your uh, key to the week you have the Emperor card. Uh, this is a time for you to really get in your own power, um, Sagittarius, and it's also a week where you could find yourself kind of thrust into something completely new. Uh, this could see you walking or treading ground that is completely pioneering or totally different to anything that you've done before. Uh, for many of you, this could have to do with your job. Maybe it could do with uh, could have to something to do with some kind of study. It does see you stepping forward in some way, shape, or form on the wider world stage, and it looks like um, the mantle is going to be placed on your shoulders once again. This looks like you might be put in a position of authority or a position of power. This might come suddenly as well. It may be something that's kind of thrust on you, and you're kind of like, "Oh, okay, when did this happen?" there won't necessarily be any time for you to process it. Just know that you have all of the skills uh, to meet this challenge head on. So for your uh, cards and your sectors this week, for your actions and your path ahead, you have the Ace of Pentacles. I think it was yourself and possibly um, I can't remember the other sign, but they got the Ace of Pentacles in this same position. And I really feel like for you guys, especially, you know, well, for you guys and the other sign as well, whatever you do or start this week, whatever you are moved into or what is thrust upon you this week is going to be with you for probably about a year to come. If you're going to remember this week specifically as one that changed a lot. You know, it might be something that happens that is small this week. Week, but it has a very, very, uh, you know, it, it's kind of like the, imagine this is a seed, right? You plant a seed, you plant an acorn, say you'd never seen an acorn, you plant it, you're not sure what you're going to get. And then all of a sudden, wow, okay, I've got an oak tree. I mean, obviously it doesn't happen overnight, but you get my point. Whatever you're planting, creating, or moving ahead with this week, it has far reaching ripples and they are really for your, you know, for your best, for your brightest. Now, because it is the Ace of Pentacles as well, one of the things that you want to consider here is this could have a financial or a work sort of slant to it. There is uh, this feeling that you're maybe stepping into a role that you're not sure you're ready for. Um, well, the Ace of Pentacles basically says certainly for the next year you better buckle up because it is something that's going to be around for a long time to come uh, long time you know in the relative short because a year is a long time but it's not a long time if that makes any sense um, and what I love most about this for you it's it's you really laying the foundation whatever it is that you're building putting out there this week it has far-reaching ripples that are really going to take you quite far and this is a new beginning for some of you it is that start of a new job for some of you it's just the interview or maybe deciding you know what I'm I am qualified enough to do a b and c this is you moving along that thought path you got the eight of pentacles in your communications and conversations so this is definitely about your work about your profession maybe for some of you this is about your studies or your academics it sees you utilizing all of the skills that you have and for a lot of you i don't know whether this is a surprise promotion maybe it's a sideways move maybe you're being thrust into the proverbial limelight in some way shape or form maybe a boss or an authority figure is coming to you to say to you look you know what you've got the skills that we need and to be honest with you there isn't anyone else to do this there isn't anybody else to do the job it has to be you now your eight of pentacles and then you've got the ace of pentacles which is one there uh, together combined that gives you the nine right so uh, and i do this a lot as you you might notice whenever i see cards of the same thingy i tend to to add them especially if it's an ace because it kind of gives that one more and sometimes it gives a more complete picture 
and uh, your nine of pentacles is all about the application of skill but the rewards from it and it also reminds you that you need to find a balance so this newfound uh, you know newfound resources newfound uh, job maybe responsibility that's placed on your shoulders it will create a lot of work for you um, which is great but you in that you must remember to um, to to take moments to stop and smell the roses to take breaks you know build breaks in to the schedule for your money and materials you have the moon card right so interestingly enough this looks like a really great time for the for the job for the work for the profession for the professional or academic life the money however seems to be a little bit more elusive your moon card can sometimes be uh, a little bit of confusion about what is or what isn't this is the week for you to clarify it mercury goes direct on the 9th by the time we get to the 11th he will be fully di you know direct and actually moving doesn't come out of shadow until the 29th so you know keep that as a consideration but on the 11th uh, the sun is going to sextile jupiter which is a beautiful aspect for all of us it doesn't matter what sign it's happening in um, or what signs uh, it's happening in it will be beneficial for everyone in some way shape or form now uh, the other thing as well the day that I'm recording these as of tomorrow on the 4th of March Venus will move into Taurus which is going to be great for all of us as well this moon card basically sees you um, it's almost like I get this sense that you you know you're getting the, the newfound responsibility you're getting all of this new work you need to make sure that the financial recompense is there as well so you know this is if this is the case for you you really want to consider or say to you know the boss or the authority figure I'm happy to do this but I need to make sure that I'm getting the the rewards for it as well you know if, if you want me to do the job of the manager I need to get paid like a manager so this is a time for you to really speak up and clarify what it is that you need uh, want and feel that you deserve in response to what it is that you're being asked to do for your love and relations you have the full card um i mean this is a really interesting energy because it does suggest that somebody new is coming in so if you're open to love this is definitely a great week for it remember the moon card is in close proximity and the eight of pentacles is there as well it does look like some of you there might be a work-based romance maybe a work-based flirtation um my advice to you just get to know this person now as one of my favorite astrologers says if they're great for you now they'll be great for you in a month all right so just take some time over this to get to know somebody for those of you that are partnered this is a time where the big changes that are happening in your working or professional life could start to impact the home and what this actually looks like is you and your partner building into the schedule right okay you know what i'm going to be busy for the foreseeable future what can we do by the way of planning trips or travel or uh, something at, that we can do out there that's fun that's spontaneous let's plan it now so that when those moments come and we start to feel the strain of maybe being apart for so long or maybe having so much to do we can you know we can move in into a um we you know we've got that something to look forward to that's something that's going to take us out of the experience that we're currently having this is about really finding a way to build into the relationship the relief that you're going to need later on all right so that is your week in a nutshell let me know in the comments do you love it do you love it what is going on for you guys i wish you an abundance of all of that good stuff have a fantastic week uh, take care and i'll see you soon